U.S. Jerusalem recognition would end Trump peace push according to Palestinian official Nabil Shaath video provided by AFP News Look. In this October 2, 2015, file photo, an Israeli border policeman exchanges blows with a Palestinian man during a confrontation after Friday prayers outside the Old City in Jerusalem, photo, AP. Israel braced for violence as President Trump announced Wednesday a controversial decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital and begin the lengthy process of moving the U.S. Embassy there. The news fueled international concern with Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas calling the decision in a televised speech a declaration of withdrawal from the role the U.S. has played in the peace process. Palestinian leaders in the West Bank and Gaza called for three days of rage, Al Jazeera reported Wednesday. Despite demonstrations that drew hundreds of Palestinians to the streets in Gaza City, there were few reports of violence. Trump's announcement from the White House fulfills a campaign promise and upends decades of U.S. foreign policy over contested Jerusalem. West Jerusalem is where Israel's government is based but Palestinians view East Jerusalem as the capital of a future Palestinian state. For that reason, every U.S. president since Israel's founding in 1948 has located the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv. Trump is also instructing the State Department to begin the multi-year process of moving the embassy to Jerusalem. Citing safety concerns, the U.S. Consulate in Jerusalem restricted government employees and their families from personal travel to Jerusalem's Old City and the West Bank. The State Department also advised American diplomatic posts in predominantly Muslim countries to be vigilant about possible protests. Abbas warned that changing the status of Jerusalem would have dangerous consequences for the security and stability of the region and of the world. Abbas ruling Fatah party tweeted images Tuesday of demonstrators burning photographs of Trump in Bethlehem's manger square. And Ismail Haniyeh, the head of the Palestinian militant group Hamas, said Washington's decision would be a dangerous escalation that crosses every red line. The White House says the president is expected to make an announcement on whether the U.S. Embassy in Israel will move to Jerusalem. December.5 AP Trump appears to view the move as a way to help secure what he has called the ultimate deal, peace between Israel and the Palestinians. The White House in a briefing Tuesday described the decision a recognition of reality. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said in a Facebook video ahead of Trump's Wednesday speech that Israel's historical and national identity is receiving important expressions every day, but especially today. Netanyahu said later Wednesday that recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital is important step toward peace. More, Trump will begin process to move U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. International opposition to the move has grown. The 57-member Organization of Islamic Cooperation said that changing Jerusalem's status would amount to naked aggression against the Arab and Muslim world. The head of the Arab League said it would be a dangerous measure that would have repercussion across the entire Middle East.